My name is Lara Munoz. I like to tell my students that my parents gave me two names, Lara Catherine Munoz in English and Laura Catarina Munoz in Spanish. So I grew up with both names in a bilingual household. I think that drives my interest in Mexican American history and I teach Mexican American history as well as uh, Latina and Latino courses here at the university. I'm also um, interested in beginning the process of mentoring doctoral students to the PhD with a specific interest in um, Mexican American or Latinx, Chicana O history. And I'm very excited about the possibility of um, bringing and helping the current students who are here um, pursue this new investigation of um, Latinx US America, if you will. My current project is actually an old project. I've spent a lot of time working on it. It's about the history of Mexican Americans in Arizona. And I'm particularly excited about it because this history predates World War II. So I'm looking at specifically the way that Mexican Americans engage the state through education from um, in the post-conquest era. So about 1870 to about the beginnings of World War II. Um, what's been exciting about it is that throughout those generations of Mexican-American experience in Arizona, these people who I call the Arizonenses have been um, actively negotiating with the state to secure not only their political rights, but their educational rights and civil rights. And so what I try to show in my work is how education is integral to the civil rights project that's been in process and, in, and that has been uh, engaged um, since the 1870s. In terms of contributions, we have as um, scholars, history, historians of education, we've um, begun to look at the ways that Mexican Americans have been educated in the United States. And we know for the most part that the majority of people, particularly before 1950, had very little access to education. What my work is attempting to show is that um, within that small minority of educated Mexican Americans, there's been a proactive interest in civil rights. And so my major contribution is to identify this population, which in the past has sort of been remote. One of the ways that I've gone about identifying these people is to turn to sources. So um, I brought a couple of sources with me that sort of identify who these individuals might be. And I turn to uh, yearbooks in the state of Arizona, for example. This is um, the 1939 or 38 um, issue of the Tempe Normal School Arizona State Teachers College yearbook. And in it, you see here a group called um, Los Conquistadores. And these, this is a group of Spanish-speaking Mexican-American students who formed an organization at this particular university. And what's so important about them is that their club might be the first Mexican-American organization uh, for Mexican-American students. Um, prior to the organization of this group, uh, which began as early as 36 or 37, there was a Spanish club at the university. But what this club did was to shift um, the congregation of Mexican-American students out of the Spanish club into a club that specifically looked at Mexican-American civil rights and education issues. So my goal is to show that amongst this small minority, there was proactive um, <clears throat> civil rights what some would say incipient, incipient civil rights action taking place in universities across the Southwest. Um, in terms of my research intersecting with teaching, one of the things I get excited about is that um, students who have no framework for understanding the Mexican-American past don't realize that um, our history is quite old. And so in terms of my teaching, I feel pretty excited about going back to the 19th century and introducing students to movers and shakers um, within Mexican-American communities in the time period. If you think about contemporary students and the issues related to immigration and dreamers and DACA, students think that they're probably amongst the first generations who have encountered this engagement with the state over immigration. But in fact, we know um, that students 
at the university level, students in the elementary school levels have been dealing with these same issues over the generations. So to be able to help students understand that their contemporary moment has a historical context that's rooted in um, Latino, Chicana o experience within the United States, I think is an important contribution in my teaching. Um, I love that moment when students realize that they're not the first. I remember learning that myself from my own mentor, um, that I wasn't the first or the smartest uh, Mexicana to ever make it to the university, that this journey has been a journey of generations uh, across centuries of Mexican Americans att attempting um, not only to, uh, to, to succeed in American society, but to build uh, important lives for themselves. Mm -hmm.